Today marks 25 years since the murders of a young family from Powell. WBIR 10 News anchor Leslie Ackerson shows us how the community is remembering the Lillylets. Leslie? John, it was a tremendous tragedy that shocked East Tennessee back in 1997, a Sunday evening when the Lily Lids were traveling home from a church workshop. They were at a rest stop off of Interstate 81 in Greene County when six teens from Kentucky forced themselves into the family's van and took them to a rural nearby road in Baileyton. There they shot the family, ran over them in the family's van and left them in a ditch. The father, Vidar, the mother, Delfina, and six-year-old daughter, Tabitha Lillylid, were all killed. The youngest, two-year-old Peter, was shot but survived. Those six suspects were caught days later trying to enter Mexico at the border in Arizona. They were 20 years old and younger, the youngest just 14. It was thought that the group was into witchcraft and Satanism. All of them are serving sentences of life with no chance for parole for their roles in that attack. As time has passed, the sweet family known for their warmth and kindness has not been forgotten. Today, several people did visit the site of their deaths to remember them, including a woman who was an emergency nurse at the time of those murders. It fell on my heart to be here to show respect for these poor people that lost their lives for no reason. Other members active and retired with the Greene County Sheriff's Department, which worked that horrific scene, were also there. Attendees left rocks at the site. Now, the survivor, Peter Lilly Lid, is now 27, and he doesn't remember anything from that day. He was shot twice and lost an eye, later being adopted by extended family in Sweden, and spent his life growing up there. Today, we know he is happily married. He lives in Connecticut with his wife and has a successful career in IT. I'll send it back to you. Leslie, thank you. In 2017, we spoke with a local journalist who covered the murders as well as the district attorney general who prosecuted that case. And you can revisit that story right now at our website, WBIR.com.